we're heading out into the woods today. It's a beautiful morning. It's not quite too crazy hot and humid yet and it's gonna cool down once we're out in the woods and in the forest. But today we should be able to find a lot of mushrooms. So the goal is to pick up bunches of mushrooms, especially chanterelle today because the conditions have been perfect. It's rained a lot and now it's been a couple of days with hot and humid weather. So we should be able to find a bunch of mushrooms. We are extremely lucky with where we are and by how many forests and trees that we are surrounded by. Now we are in the Florida woodlands <laughs> and it's all swamps. So lots of bugs, lots of mosquitoes and what I try to do when I go out in the woods is try to cover while I'm still pretty comfortable so that I can avoid as many bugs and as many thorns as possible. And boots are an absolute must cause snakes. Look, a little beauty berry plant. That thing is awesome to keep mosquitoes away. So if you have them, you can dig them up and plant them close to the house. Keep those bugs away. Now, mushrooms in general don't do very well in sunny areas because they are largely made up by water. So the best places to look is in the forest, in shady areas, and chanterelle in particular are usually found around oak trees around here in pine tree forests, which works perfect for us because that's exactly where we are. We live on a lot of pine trees surrounded by oaks. No, the other way around. Oaks surrounded by pine trees. And here, look at that, we got an itty bitty chanterelle. And when there is one, there is many because they all connected below the surface. We have tons of medicinal plants out here, but I'm not here to collect medicinals today. I'm really on the hunt for mushrooms today. So I'm hoping I'm finding a few um, chanterelles they are really hard to cultivate. So you typically won't find them at a grocery store. They have to be foraged. And the tricky part about foraging is you have to do it responsibly because otherwise they won't come back. So whenever you forage mushrooms, you want to go out there with a wicker basket or something with holes in it so these pores and the spores can spread and uh, get through the cracks when you're picking up mushrooms. Always have a sharp knife with you because you need to cut them off and not just rip them out of the ground because that will hurt the integrity of the mushroom family and they're not going to come back the next year. So if you have a mushroom field close by that is reliable, that produces every year, make sure you forage responsibly. We've got sweet gum and blackberry right here. But we're gonna keep on going. So there's a few in here, not many. So I think we're going to leave them be because we want them to come back. So you see there's a few right here. One right here, some over there. So we might need to give it a little bit. There's some right here. This is a fairly reliable chanterelle field for me. And it's not looking very promising right now. So I think I'm going to have to wait a little bit and come back. Got a ton of muscadine. But the birds already picked at it. 
Usnia. So, well, so far, not a whole lot of luck with mushrooms. So we may just turn this into a medicinal walk instead and harvest those for our teas and our saps. But I'm still hopeful to get to my other plot and see what we've got there with mushrooms because I was really looking forward to cooking some today. We have tons of wild lettuce which is great and it it already receded so we're gonna have a ton of it next year as well which is great but no luck with the mushrooms so far So chanterelles you usually can't buy. You have to go out into the woods and forage them and find them. And when you do find them somewhere, they're very expensive. They sell for over $200 a pound. So really, you wanna find yourself some good mushroom patches because they are amazing. They're super nutritious. They have a lot of vitamins, a lot of vitamin A, vitamin D, and they, have a lot of properties that helps your immune system and your support of your body as well. So did I say I love mushrooms? I love mushrooms. They're so good. You're not supposed to eat chanterelle raw. I've tried some, but don't consume a lot of them because they will make you sick but their taste is amazing. They have like this peppery, fruity taste to them. And I just love it. When it comes to other mushrooms, um, the other ones that we have around here are porcini that I've seen a lot of. When going out for mushrooming, I will only collect mushrooms that I am 100% sure that is the mushroom that I'm looking for, or I'm 100% sure this is an edible or a medicinal mushroom. Otherwise, I will not pick them up because I do not want to go to the hospital for mushroom poisoning. Here we have mushrooms that we're not picking up because those will send us to the hospital. Well, I didn't come home with the mushrooms that I wanted to come home with, but we didn't harvest last year until end of July, beginning of August. So we still have time. Um, the field has time to produce. We just, we need some good rain. We've been in a drought now for a week, a uh, week and a half. So it's time for some good rain to come down again to give those mushrooms what they need to grow. For us, we just turned it into a medicinal walk. We've got plenty to pick up for our tinctures, for our salves. So if you're interested in learning more about the salves and the tinctures, check out some of our other videos. But for now, we're gonna call it a day. It's heating up and it's time to get out of the muggy sun and getting to work there. Remember, when you're foraging, do it sustainably. Don't pick up more than you can take. Don't pick up more than you need. Leave enough for the animals, leave enough for the plants and the herbs and the mushrooms to be able to come back stronger the next year. And make sure you do everything responsibly.